Hey guys, what's going on? I'm actually about to make the totem right now, or like part of it. I just wanted to document it because I think that's probably gonna be really cool, <laughs> I hope. And I just wanna see the progress I do on it. So right here I got the six foot pole, it collapses into three foot, three foot increments basically. This is three foot, three, three feet, yeah. Um, Got the top, I'm gonna put this on. It goes on the top. I already went ahead and I already taped where where I'm gonna stop putting EL wire. Um, this is EL wire, got a nice white color. Um, what, I, the, what I'm gonna be using is, so there's actually a UV curing machine in here. And UV glue is like really, really great and they like easier to control. I don't know, I don't know why I chose to use that. I don't, oh, I know why, cause I control, can control the gluing better. Anyway, so I got the glue right here. Um, got a UV cream machine over here. It's connected by foot pedals, which I'll be using later. Oh, this is also air, air uh, pressurized, whatever. I'm using these uh, disposable precision tips to make sure I get the glue on right. And um, yeah, I just gotta get my glasses and let's get it. So I'm gonna start off by, so this goes with a little back right here. I'm gonna take this off because I, I'm gonna glue this to the pole. So, take that out. Oh shit. Took it out. Put this over here so I don't lose it. Got this. Probably take out the batteries. So it's like that. And you can actually. Oh shit, okay, actually, so I do need to keep that in. That's a good thing I noticed that because that keeps all this together. Oh, this is just, oh, I get it now, okay. So it turns out I gotta keep this all together. It's a good thing to know now. Thought I could just, uh. basically I broke it and I haven't even started. You know, okay, so I was playing around with this earlier. You know how many times I hit the ceiling with it? A lot. So, this has to stay on. Uh, oh yeah. Right. Oh. I should probably put the batteries back in to make sure it works still. Yeah, it still works. That's I'm a little stupid. All right, I'm gonna go turn on the air pump for this and let's get started. It is currently 440, 4.48 right now. I just changed. Let's see how fast I can do this. All right, so for the first section, I already cured it on, as you just saw, to this. I don't know if you, it won't focus. I'm filming this on my iPhone. I may, I may have an iPhone XS Max, but autofocus kind of sucks when you're getting up macros like that. But uh, I glued it on, I'm gonna start, and I'm just gonna start coiling, cause that's all I need to do. <laughs> so, yeah. All right, so I got a good base going on, right? And I showed you a little glimpse of what UV does, but uh, you shouldn't look at UV because it hurts, it like burns your eyes or something, whatever. That's why I wear UV, uh, UV glasses, technically. Yeah, so UV glue, UV light glue is like curing glue. You know, like when you go get, you know when you get a filling at the dentist or they bond uh, your brackets to your, your braces brackets to your face or to your teeth, technically? That's the UV curing glue, that's what it is. So let's keep continuing. <laughs>
it doesn't matter where you are always remember to hydrate got some bubbly right here hydrate or dehydrate especially at festivals too hydrate but uh about this far now um this getting down here is getting a little bit harder because of it's like uneven in a way so i'm gonna have to you know i have to do it in like smaller sections opposed to me doing one big section um then my plan is to do one one uv coat on top of all this to make it stay all together very glad I'm wearing gloves because at first I was like, no, I don't need gloves. And I realized it's going to be very sticky. So let's keep going. <laughs> Alright, so I finally finished wrapping it, like that, it's all nice little bee. It's very tightly coiled, I'm really proud of myself, but I did mess up a little bit, there is an air pocket. Um, I did get uh, 15 feet of EL wire, but there's probably like 3-4 feet left, so I'm gonna keep going, keep doing my thing. Remember, hydrate. I don't know what time I started. But it's currently 5.30 right now. And you know me, always gotta show you guys my picture of Julie. There's Julie. And I, EDC. I can't wait. Can't wait to be dying under the electric sky again. <laughs> oh yeah, also these are um, UV protective glasses. Honestly, I just think they're really heavy sunglasses. And I honestly hate wearing them, but I know you're supposed to protect your eyes, so... Yeah. <laughs> So the thing is, curing glue is supposed to go on everything, right? Like, it's like super, super great. The issue I'm running into, it's not curing to the plastic. Like, it keeps popping off and like getting this. And I don't know, man. Well, I'm just gonna keep trying because you just don't give up in life. <laughs> or in this case, the totem. Turns out, all I had to do I didn't break them though. Um, turns out, all I had to do was move the, the lamp down. The curing, this is a spot curing lamp. I had to move it down on the pole. I I originally had it higher because it's so um because it's so hot on your hands. But it looks like I'm just gonna suck it off now. I ain't no wimp. Going. Honestly, the quality probably went down because I'm shooting this on my Mac now. But it's still, it's, I don't know why it's not curing to the plastic. So, I'm gonna try some super glue now. Let's try um, some 411. dry as fast, that's like the 411 didn't dry as fast, but gotta keep going. I think I just need a starter, so as long as I get this to start it, I can finish it with the UV glue, because I prefer the UV glue over this, because I just do. And now we wait, I don't know how long to wait, but... Alright, so I think that went a lot better. Yeah, it's finally sticking. So I was gonna keep looking and let's keep going. Alright, so I finally made it all the way around. 
just one round of this base right here. I'm gonna keep going down until about right here. And yeah, you gotta keep going. It's 5.52 now. I don't know how long I've been doing this, but. Alrighty, so I just finished. This is how far I wanna go down because this is where it basically barely connects and touches the lip of each other and I don't want them to like overlap or anything like that. I guess I probably I could go a little bit further but I think I'm just gonna I'm gonna leave it like this. It looks really phenomenal like this. Um I made this so that I can come off like this so I can put in my luggage because this is this barely fits in my luggage. Wow the UV light really kinda messed it up. It used to be all uh silver in there that's how you know it's hot uh, i just want to show you what it looks like but i'm gonna hit it up again and fill up all the gaps with uv glue so that i know for a fact i got everything all right. uh, okay actually let me show you extended too all right Okay, no, that was really stupid of me. Okay. Take this. Alright, so. So, yep, this is still long enough, so we can just coil it around. Probably gonna glue it like right here. I still don't know how I'm gonna do that, so I'll do that a different day. But, yeah. show you that it look better in the nighttime of course yep about to hit it up again all right so I just hit it again with some UV glue to make sure everything's nice and cured properly I don't know what I'm gonna do with this part I'll figure it out later as I said but now it's time for me to clean up Gotta release the, there's a gas release right here. Look at this. Wow. All right. So this comes to an end of me building the totem. Um, I kind of feel bad cause I left Emily and Julia out of this. Cause I know they're kind of excited to build the totem, but like, I mean, they could have came up to the office with me, but like that I feel like it's kind of weird to offer. I mean, if they want to come visit me at work, they can. But yeah, so sorry, Emily and Julie. I know you're watching this eventually whenever I decide to post this, but you guys are super dope. Um, so yeah, peace. I also think that even though the UV glass, oh, okay, I just stabbed myself with the um, the precision tip. It kind of hurt, it hurts like a needle. Um, my eyes kind of hurt from the UV light. But like I thought the glass was supposed to protect me, so if I go blind, blind or -er earlier, we're gonna look back at this and know where it's from. <laughs> okay, now this is the real ending. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. That was really stupid. I don't know why I did that, but I'll see you guys next time. Also, I should probably say that it is currently 6:45 because I just want to see how long it took me. Took me. I think it took me two hours to do this, so not so bad.